Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rock? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. All that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! <laughs> Go to I'm gonna be <laughs> Whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. All of it. I, I mean, I, you know. I'm, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cast like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me... I don't know if y'all saw the post where 50 posted about me. Of course, you guys see yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, 50 um, has been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody um, um, reporting about what um, tatted up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom saying beating her up. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. How, how is that so? I said what I said on my post and I'm standing on that too. Now, since he didn't accept what my offer to him and he want to continue to be a comedian, why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson and don't talk about me? Okay. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to charity, donate the bread to charity and fight, don't, don't stop being a girl and talking about dudes. I find it funny that, you know, when they first cru try to crucify somebody, they go through the media first. And they're just flooded with lies and propaganda. I'm not concerned about this n Curtis. I mean, this dude Curtis. You know what I'm saying? He's Uncle Tom, and that's just what it is. I'm going to speak on a thousand percent of what I know to be true about my guy for 29 years. See, I'm not just a guy off the internet trolling. I'm a first-hand <laughs> <laughs> Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what does it say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. What they said? Don't step to me, son. <laughs> if I ain't with it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in once again. I done said it before, and I'm going to say it once more. This has got to be the most entertaining beef online in a long time. I am completely, fully dedicated and invested into Stevie J versus 50 Cent going back and forth for the entertainment, man. I got to keep it all the way a thousand. Every time I watch this nigga say, why you mad at Daphne? Because she would gang them? Nigga, I want to shoot the fade, nigga. And the way that nigga hopped off that bitch, bro, you can't sit up here and tell me that ain't hilarious. Then he hit him with the classic Curtis line and everything like that. Let's not let's not make it a different situation. He thinks that it's good. He thinks that it's good to go in the competition. I'm not gonna stop competing. How much did the mouth sell, Curtis? Let me tell you something. Your, your whole your, the difference between Dipset and the average artist that signs to to. Whoa, whoa, all right, we gotta shut him off. And how much Lloyd Blake sold? Monse, Monse, Monse. Monse, we gotta cut it, honey. The difference Cam, between Cam, I'm sorry, baby, and I want to be fair to everybody, but now listen. 
Well, we all know that that's not going to stop 50 Cent. As you've seen over the past few days, he continues to poke at him. And it originally started when he threw up the post about him being mentioned in the lawsuit and everything with Diddy with the alleged accusations of him being part of the grooming process for Lil Rod. And I had a link in the description where you can watch that clip in full at, on TMZ where Stevie J went yesterday and spoke on it, said, hey, I know Diddy. Diddy's my guy, 29 years and everything like that. Well, 50 Cent went on the gram last night with DJ Self out there in New York and told Stevie J, hey, nigga, pull up, basically, nigga. Let's see if you go get past security and everything. Showed him the little hand jabs and everything. If niggas don't know, that nigga Boo Boo, a.k.a. Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent, a.k.a. 50, used to actually box to my understanding. But people just know 50 Cent came in the game as a menace and one of them niggas that was coming in it for the controversy, chaos, conflict, confusion, and confrontation. So a lot of people that kind of stayed out his way. He had a few little beefs here and there. But niggas look at it and sometimes like, bro, you ain't finna win with this nigga. But Stevie J is one that said, hey, let's squabble. We see Ja Rule, he took his stance on everything and things of that nature. And 50 Cent just one of them niggas, bro. Niggas just go to ignore bro, because they like, this nigga here ain't got no chill. He ain't got no turn off button. He even said right there, nigga, hey, come at your own risk and things. Nigga, it's going to really go all the way down through there. And I'll tell you like this, of course, 50 Cent sees this as marketing. Of course, he sees all the stuff he do on the internet as entertainment. That nigga is really a, a, a mental, like, nigga just troll, genius, businessman, and everything. He really, really is programmed to operate in the art of war, nigga, because he looking at it like this. I ain't need no allegations. I ain't got nothing going on, nigga. Whatever y'all got going on, I can capitalize on that by posting y'all, getting y'all to react. You going to TMZ talking about it, nigga, you keeping me relevant. I'm keeping my fans, my supporters entertained in the moment. I don't even know if sometimes do 50 be feeling the way he... Nah, that nigga... Nah, 50 Cent really do it. <laughs> nah, that nigga really feel like that. But at the end of the day, Stevie J came on the internet, turned up off Love & Hip Hop. That was my introduction to him. Didn't know that he was a bad boy producer behind a lot of hits and everything back in the day. We know that now and stuff, but him calling out 50 Cent is just downright entertainment at this point. Now, when it comes to the case, most stuff developing, more investigation, more news coming out hour by the hour. We just seen recently they hit uh, Diddy's son with a lawsuit as well, which is not a criminal case, which is not him having evidence that is civil, not by the police, not by the feds. Also, Cassie's supposed to be working with the feds, so we got to dive more into that situation right there. I ain't going to lie, dog. This one right here is one for the books. Completely entertaining, dog. I cannot stop looking at it and laughing at it. 50 Cent going to do what he do. Even took it to the point of going to New York and, perform and really getting on stage while the show was going on with Nicki Minaj and saying he was looking for a sex worker. Referencing his ex, baby mama Daphne and stuff like that. The same one that Stevie J is talking about. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. <laughs>